Welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is a collective reading for whoever's meant to watch this. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tap on the notifications bell. We're going to get started. It is collective. Take what resonates. I thought it was a really good idea to do a reading on this full moon in Gemini. A beautiful energy of connecting to your shadow self, releasing the old, welcoming the new. I have a song for you. It is called Fireworks by Drake. So there's some messages there for some of you. Take the lyrics of the song, the ones that call to you or the ones that are meant for you. Trust your intuition and we're going to get started. So I'm using these random oracle cards. I only pulled one tarot card, but this is a beautiful divine feminine energy guide girl. It's like you're very mystical. You're beautiful. You're very connected. Someone could have been closing off your throat chakra. That is a thing of the past. They could have been trying to block your third eye or your crown, but they didn't realize that you are a queen in your spiritual gifts. You are like Wonder Woman is what I'm hearing. You're a very strong spiritual warrior. Guide girl doesn't matter. You're evolving. You have gone through some type of kundalini awakening. She who changes iris. Transformation, change, enchantment. So you've gone through spiritual level up. You are definitely transforming on this full moon. You're releasing the old, the past, and you're just a very strong spiritual energy. And that is very beautiful. Something about your eyes. You're very gifted. You're a seer, a light worker, a medium, a psychic, gifted person. And that is just a beautiful energy to embrace who you are and do not be ashamed to show the world who you are or to just be you the next card that you have here is she who questions emily curiosity destiny search so you might be wondering why you have this gift why are things happening this certain way why do people behave the way they do it's like you're trying to decipher why certain things happen in that order or in that fashion but with the fact that there's like this energy or these weird like lines on her forehead it's like stop worrying and wondering why it's more so just accept who you are or accept what's happening let it go do not give your energy to things that do not serve you and then you have this card here it's like really reflecting on the past healing letting go of the things that were toxic on this full moon some of you guys are making manifestations you're healing you're kind of just processing in a meditative state two 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 self-love self-care really just being in the energy of love that surrounds you, your angels and guides are with you, your positive energies are protecting you. This is almost like a fairy that needs to just rest and get some sleep, and I feel like that's what this is. Nushin energy is in retrograde, so be very careful as far as just nurturing yourself, mind, body, and spirit. She who dreams escapes dreams and fantasies, so there are messages that are coming to you in your dreams. Some of you guys might need to drink some mugwort tea or some type of lucid dreaming tea. Or there's some type of tea that's going to give you some significant messages if you drink it right before you go to sleep. And then you have she who regrets, battle, victory, bitterness. So if you were battling something within yourself, you're realizing that you're not going to hold a grudge against things anymore that don't serve you. You're releasing things that are like sad or stagnant energy. It's like you're just letting that go. You're moving on. It's like what's dead, it's dead. It's done and over with. You're moving forward. I'm also seeing if someone tried to cause a battle or cause some type of disruption that person is not going to be successful with the sword down it's like they're gonna give up you're gonna have victory you're gonna move forward then you have she who hopes renee love hope and relationships you're very hopeful but i'm also seeing you're kind of just waiting you've kissed a lot of frogs but you're waiting for someone okay for some of you you're waiting for someone who's toxic to change they're not going to so stop waiting with the bridge. It's like she's already on the other side of the bridge. This person cannot come with you. So it's best to let them go. I'm really sorry. That's a very harsh message. But if you're waiting on someone who has never showed you that they were trying to change or they say they do and maybe they do something very small but then they go back to their old habits. I'm hearing you can't teach an old dog new tricks. 411, you're going to get some information about someone. It's going to be a repetitive cycle and you're learning to just let go. You're going to move forward. You're waiting for the right person, and the one that you're dealing with that is in and out is not it. But I do see you being hopeful. She who radiates Geneva, knowing ambition, confidence. So yes, you're not letting anyone like kill your vibe is what I'm seeing. You're a strong spiritual warrior. Some of you guys have been a high priestess in the past life or some type of um, royalty, 444. The time is now for you to remember who you are. You come from a very... Um, I'm hearing a divine dynasty or royalty lineage here. <clears throat> You're remembering who you are with this. is kind of giving me like Orisha. 
type of vibes. Oshun is what I'm hearing. Um, but I'm also getting that you are a high priestess. Could have been Egyptian or someone who is very much in their energy of royalty. Very high class, elegant. Um, you're just going through a glow up. You have spiritual abundance. Your heart, your energy is protected with these strings here. It's like nobody can get through and harm you. It's like you are protected in every way, shape, and form. Your confidence, your spiritual confidence in yourself is is definitely blossoming in a beautiful way. She who avenges, nemesis, revenge, outcomes, and justice. So you are really strong and you're actually going to have um, someone get their karma is what I'm seeing. Libra, justice, energy. You've lit a candle. I'm hearing the black flame candle from Hocus Pocus. So you've lit a candle to call on your ancestors, 555. You're gifted. You're not putting up with any BS anymore. And someone is definitely going to get karma. If they hurt you, you've already done your candle work or your ritual or whatever it is that you do with your divination practices. And you're protecting yourself. And now you're just going to sit back, relax, and wait because you know that your angels, your guides, your ancestors, you have a spiritual team here protecting you. So it's just a matter of time before the people who hurt you, they get what they deserve. Return to sender. The time is now. She who aches. Sadness, solitude, silent withdrawal. This person will be left out in the cold. They had their own little book of shadows, but you have like a whole freaking encyclopedia. It's like you are stronger than them. And they're going to be on the cold. Kind of like, what just happened? But that's what they get because that was what they tried to do to you. She who frees, Carly, liberation, unrestrained freedom. Yeah, you're freeing yourself from anyone who tried to hurt you or tried to bind you or hurt you in any way, shape, or form. You're cleansing yourself, mind, body, and spirit with the ocean. What was I saying? Oshun. You have, some of you guys are connected to her. But I do see here that you are just very connected to your empathic energies. You're an empath. You're an energy healer, 707. And with the birds here, you are receiving intuitive messages, 711, on how to proceed. And you're releasing the things that were holding you back. She who nurtures empathy gentleness and insight that's exactly what i was saying you're an empath so it's like you're nurturing your emotions you're not running away from your feelings you're healing with the purple amethyst your third eye and crown chakra you're definitely they are activated as what i was going to say they are protected and you are definitely going through a transformation you're going to have some type of dreams messages of some sort i heard a visit but it's not going to be scary it's going to be very enlightening it's going to be very unfulfilling and it's going to give you some insight into the answers that you seek because you already have them it's just a matter of you remembering with the moon card this is very perfect for the um full moon and gemini so the path is clear with the two of wands and the queen of pentacles this is about spiritual abundance as above so below you're definitely connected and you have a lot of blessings coming your way water sign cancer pisces scorpio this could be you or just the energy of the fact that you're very connected to your intuition your empathic skills um or you could be dealing with that sign you have god Anubis, the egyptian god of the underworld and then you have virgin mary so very nurturing energies very much protected by the god of the underworld from anyone or anything that is trying to harm you you have spirit guides you have the seven african powers you have reversal spell worked 100%. So yes, if you've done your protection, it's definitely in place. It has worked. It is effective. You've fought a spiritual battle. Your spiritual team is protecting you. You have candle work in reverse. I feel like you've already done this, so you don't really need to worry about anything else is what I'm getting. Someone tried to steal your energy with the energy vampire. I feel like that's in the past. It did not work. Past life remember, which makes sense because I said you were royalty with a previous card. And then we have sorry in reverse. <clears throat> Someone doesn't feel bad, but they're going to be sorry either way. You have Chongo. Um, I feel like this is a <clears throat> an Arisha. Um, his color is red, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you might want to look him up, or you are already connecting with him. And you have Archangel Michael, who's protecting you from anything low vibrational, which is not for your highest good. You have the Mighty Hand of God, or the Powerful Hand, Amana Poderosa. I'm also hearing the hand of glory, and then you have goddess Ma'at, which is justice being served. Karma is being served to those who deserve it. I'm hearing a what's it? I'm hearing that saying: revenge is a dish best served cold. Someone's getting their karma big time, you guys, and they're in for a rude awakening. They think they're gonna hurt you. Oh my god, they're all just gonna hurt themselves. They're gonna get it big time. 
the Libra, my aunt, justice, karma for sure. Archangel Raphael to protect you and heal you. Papa Legba, Allegua to clear the roads and path. Another erasure that you may want to connect with or learn more about if you haven't already done so. Kuan Yin, very nurturing mother-like energy. You could be a mother. Or this is just you nurturing yourself and loving your inner child. You have divine intervention protecting you from anything that is not of your highest good. You have your angels here. Positive energies protecting you with the wings of the most high. You have God's debt to bring joy, love, and happiness. And then you have honest and truthful because you've been working out of the energy of being true to yourself and not harming others. That is why these energies are here helping you. You have self-care. So drink some water, stay hydrated, rest, get some sleep, take care of yourself. Take it easy is what I'm getting within the next um, few days that this full moon is going to really just kind of make you feel like a tug of war back and forth you know duality of the the yin and yang of gemini the twins so really just try to find that middle ground with authority you know that the divine intervention of your angels your guides your spiritual team they are here you have prayed you're an earth angel you reached out 11 11 as i'm saying that and they're here to protect you with your friendships with any type of relationship that is near and dear to your heart your friends your family are safe also getting your angels are your friends and you are aware of that you have archangel metatron here with the merkaba cube coming through to protect you with the light codes the positive energies of this um, sacred geometry while you go through the spiritual transformation your last card here is the ten of pentacles which talks about stability financial success i'm also seeing this as a card of spiritual abundance people are coming to you for advice um is what i'm seeing but i'm also getting you have someone who's jealous that you have um someone who's very much like connected to you or you have more stability you have more people coming to you in the workplace and you have someone who's jealous because they wish that they were on your level financially or that they were having the position that you have someone is just kind of salty that they didn't get the job they didn't get the raise they didn't get the promotion 12, 12 they didn't get the blessing because it wasn't meant for them they have a different journey to go through or they still have some lessons to learn this person's on the sidelines they're going to get a message from somebody else um that's just kind of like back and forth a middle person like an instigator but this person isn't going to want to do anything to you anymore it's like they're laying the situation to rest because the most high is making sure that they do not harm you and then with this here it's like the cycles of abundance mind body and spirit are already into place the wheel is turning and you have a lot of stability coming towards you this person is going to get a tower um this could be a karmic relationship or someone who is just very jealous of you but they're going to get some type of harsh realization the letters d and e are significant because these are standing out here to me but i feel like this person is going to have regrets and they are not going to be able to get a chance with you or to have another opportunity to make things right because it's just it's over is what i'm seeing so because you've changed 1313 13, you're releasing the old and you have definitely transformed and you are definitely stepping into your power it is this beautiful divine feminine goddess like energy for some you could actually have a goddess that you connect with the triple moon goddess or just a, a goddess a feminine energy or a deity that is really connected to you this is also giving me like isis ishtar vibes 1331 as above so below but you do have some type of divine feminine empowering energy that is helping you get through any type of life obstacles that you feel that you might be facing or challenges you are strong you are protected and i wish you many many blessings on this full moon in gemini thank you for watching please like and subscribe tap on the notifications bell so you get all my updated videos let me know if this resonates comment down below and i send you many blessings bye guys